My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com. In this video, I'll be going over my 10 favorite features about Graphene OS, the privacy and security focused Android mobile operating system for Google Pixel devices. Graphene OS is fully open source software, which converts an ordinary Google Pixel device into a higher security and privacy Android environment without any Google services or connections. While security and privacy go hand in hand, they are not the same. While security is necessary for privacy, it is possible to be secure and have no privacy. A place with excessive security and no privacy is called a prison. In the digital communications context, security often means the scanning and banning of traffic or actions. That's what antivirus, anti-spam, and content filtering systems do. And those systems are inherently anti-privacy. You don't want any of that for your own personal devices. Your employer might and likely will mandate those anti-privacy systems because it is in his or her best interest that devices owned by the business are protected. Therein lies the dilemma. Business wants intrusive security. Individuals want privacy. It's best to keep your personal devices free of spyware introduced by your employer. Speaking of your employer, this video is brought to you by Sutinen Consulting, my IT service company. If you own or work for a business that needs a privacy-respecting, independent security vulnerability assessment, or an ethical hacking test of your IT infrastructure, please give me a call. We do a comprehensive vulnerability scan of your IT systems, provide a report of the findings, and even help your IT guys fix the problems discovered. Sutin & Consulting serves customers all around the United States. Contact information is in the description below. I will categorize the top 10 features to security and privacy categories. The cool part about Graphene OS is that the security that it introduces doesn't come at the cost of reduced privacy. I'll start the list with an honorable mention, as it really isn't a feature, but a testament to the popularity of Graphene OS. Graphene OS has a large community testing and verifying any changes, and updates are much more frequent than most other mobile operating systems, and this is significant. When new Pixel models come out, Graphene OS usually supports them very quickly. When vulnerabilities are discovered, Graphene OS gets patches for them fairly soon. In some instances, Graphene OS even has patched vulnerabilities faster than the official Google version. And now onto the list. Number one, which is a security feature. Graphene OS has a locked bootloader and full verified boot. Many other alternative Android versions leave the bootloader unlocked and the phone potentially vulnerable to physical attacks. With those other operating systems, after the operating system is installed, the bootloader must remain unlocked in order to use this operating system. The unlocked bootloader presents a vulnerability. If someone took your device, they could install their own malicious software to it. Your data and apps might look the same, but the attacker could monitor your usage if they modified the operating system to do so. This is where Graphene OS shines again. After installation, you relock the bootloader. Locking the bootloader enables full verified boot. Verified boot checks that all executed code comes from a trusted source, in this case, from Graphene OS. During the boot process, each stage is verified for authenticity before data can be accessed. Verified boot makes sure no one has tampered with your device. With Graphene OS, you can't unlock the bootloader without deleting all personal data within the device. Number two, which is another security feature. Auto Reboot. If you leave your phone somewhere, or your phone has been stolen and it hasn't been unlocked for a while, it will auto reboot the phone for better security. A reboot puts the phone in the pre-first unlock state, which is the most secure state. The default time is 72 hours, but you can change the reboot time to be shorter. Number three, which is both a security and privacy feature. Graphene OS provides only the basics and allows you to customize the software you need. After the install, you have exactly 13 apps listed in the launcher. Apps, Auditor, Calculator, Camera, Clock, Contacts, Files, Gallery, Messaging, PDF Reader, Phone, Settings, and the Vanadium Browser. That's it. No need to take the garbage out as soon as you get the phone. Only the bare necessities are there and no proprietary spyware from the phone company or phone manufacturer to violate your privacy. Number four, which is a privacy feature. 
Graphene OS has a compatibility layer that allows the installation of sandboxed native Google Play services that gives near complete compatibility for apps depending on Google Play services. The cool part is that Google Play receives no special access or privileges on Graphene OS. In a standard Android system, Google Play bypasses the app sandbox and gets highly privileged access and is an important part of the Google surveillance system. There are several important apps that won't work without Google Play services. Uber and Lyft are examples of such apps. I once tried making Uber or Lyft work at the San Francisco airport without Play services. No go. I had to get a taxi cab instead. Sandboxed Google Play services makes it possible to run Uber and Lyft on Graphene OS without giving away the farm to Google. Google Play services also include Google Fire-based cloud messaging push notifications that have been under a limelight as of late. Those services can be used to do some level of tracking of you, especially on metadata level, and governments have been forcing Google to give out that information. I made a video about it, and the link to it is somewhere up here. If you install Google Play services, you really want to minimize the use of it. And when you don't need to use those apps that require Google Play services, make sure you disable all of them. You can re-enable them when you need to use them. Number five, which is a privacy feature. Graphene OS can turn off your Wi-Fi automatically when you leave your home Wi-Fi. Normally, if you have Wi-Fi on and leave the area, the Wi-Fi service stays active on your device. It is constantly looking for any known or open networks while broadcasting unique identifiers from your device to any sniffing hardware which may want to track you. It is a slight inconvenience to have to turn on Wi-Fi when you get back home or office, but it is well worth the trouble for the added privacy it provides. Graphene OS provides the same automatic shutoff functionality for Bluetooth so your phone doesn't advertise itself to all of the creepy COVID infection trackers and such that are sure to come. Number six, which is a privacy feature, pin scrambling. With Graphene OS, you can scramble the numbers presented within a pin entry screen. This is valuable for people who may fear that they are under surveillance and entry of the same pattern on every unlock would provide a way to enter your device when physical access is obtained. Unlocking the device takes longer since the numbers are randomized each time, but there will be no longer an identical pattern within the surveillance video, and the fingerprint smudges on the screen will not be helpful to an attacker. Number seven, which is another privacy feature. Disable network permission when installing apps. Graphene OS gives you the chance to deny network access to any app before the installation. That makes it safer to install less trustworthy apps. You still shouldn't install apps willy-nilly, but at least you can be assured that the app doesn't send anything out of your phone, even if it spies on you. Number eight, which is a privacy feature, private screenshots. Did you ever realize that when you take a screenshot and send it to someone else with a standard phone, that screenshot includes detailed information about your phone, the time, date, and time zone offset? Not so with Graphene OS. All that stuff is disabled by default, so feel free to share your screenshots without leaking metadata. Number nine, which is another privacy feature, storage and contact scopes. Storage scopes allows you to define exactly what folders, files, photos, and videos an app has access to, and the app thinks it has access to the entire phone when in fact it doesn't. Contact scopes is an alternative to granting the contacts permission. By default, it acts as if the contacts list is empty. With contact scopes, you can grant access to groups of contacts and specific contacts. Very nice for those apps like Signal and Telegram that try to mine your entire phone book. And number 10, which is another privacy feature, SIM card disabling. Graphene OS disables a physical SIM card with the toggle switch in the SIM card settings page. You don't have to take out the SIM card to make sure it's not registering with the mobile network. Those nano SIM cards are very small and easy to lose, so being able to disable them without removing them is handy. Graphene OS is a fantastic open source project. Outside of Linux, it is the software I use most. 
And Linux, of course, is at the foundation of Graphene OS. Open source software depends on donations. If you use Graphene OS, please make sure to donate to them at grapheneos.org slash donate. You can donate with Monero, so your privacy is assured even when making the donation. And that's all she wrote. If you're interested in digital privacy, Graphene OS, Session Messenger, LokiNet, cryptocurrencies, and other open source software, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. If you want to continue the discussion, please comment below or send me a message on Session Messenger, the most private messenger on the planet. My session username is Privacy Pro Shop. If you want a session username for yourself, head on over to privacyproshop.com and you can purchase it anonymously with cryptocurrencies or Visa gift cards. And as always, have a happy day.